Hello everyone, in this tutorial we're just going to be going over how to create a drawing in SolidWorks using our main beam. So let's open up SolidWorks and open up a drawing. Let it load for a second. For the purposes, for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm just going to use the B landscape and press OK. We're going to go over to our left, click Browse, and select our main beam. Open. As you can see, one of the views will show the outline of the beam itself. So let's just go ahead and click this down here. And we can drag upwards or to the side and get a view in relation to this main view. You can always go down here and change the scaling in under scale. However, I'm liking how this is filling up the page, so I'm just going to keep this. Let's go off to the side and click isometric, and we're going to accept. But first, actually, let's go down here to where it says use parent style, and let's click this one with the, with the ghost lines because I want to see where those holes are. So actually, let's go in and re-click where those are and press OK. We're going to go in and delete these views, though. Delete. Yep. And delete this one as well. Wonderful. We can go in also and change where the views lay. So we can just go ahead and click and drag where we want them. This can only click and drag up and down because it's in relation to this front view. And we, if we move this front view anywhere, both of these two views will also change. So let's just click OK. And first things first, let's go in and create our center lines between these two holes. It's just good practice so we know that these are actually holes going through by clicking both lines, by clicking up here in annotation, center line, and clicking both of these lines where the holes are, and getting our center line. These already have our center lines through them. So let's click accept and here we have it. Let's add some dimensions in. So whenever you're dimensioning an object or a part in SolidWorks, you want to make sure that you have enough dimensions that someone else can look at the drawing and create it. You also don't want to over define your drawing so try to double check yourself whenever you're done and ask yourself if you can make a part using the dimensions that you have drawn on the drawing and if you need to add more add more if you have too many delete some so to start off i'm actually going to use this view over here to define how high our beam is we're going into dimensions clicking both sides and I don't want them to mention in here because it looks a little constrained. So I'm just going to hover up a little bit and accept that. Now, let's go do this top. Again, let's just hover out and accept. Now I can either do the dimensioning of these holes on this top view because of these, these center lines, or I can go down here and use these holes. I'm going to use this top one. So let's just dimension this. It's 0.3. We're going to be using what's called absolute coordinates, which basically defines a point of your drawing as 0, 0, and all coordinates are taken from that point. So let's dimension this out to here. Click on the edge. 
click the part where we want to have a dimension. And I'm just going to repeat this. here and click up. Now this doesn't look as pretty because we do have some overlap here so let's click accept and get rid of that by dragging this downwards a little bit. Also I kind of want these dimensions to be kind of stack on top of each other so let's create that one out there. Let's make this one more of its middle point. Move this one the midpoint. Point. You can change where your dimensions are by just clicking on it until it turns orange and just dragging. You can drag it left and right and that'll change where your number is, or you can drag up and down and that'll change how high your dimension is. So let's just put it here. Awesome. And now let's define our hole itself. By going in, let's go smart dimension. Let's click this hole, it'll show our diameter. Scroll out a little bit. Now I would like to add a note to this. So let's go in. And. Go down here where it says dimension text. And put in five X like that. Wonderful. Accept that. And now we have this repeatable dimension that all of these holes will be this diameter. All right, and now. It looks like we have everything dimensioned. We have our holes dimensioned and their diameter. We have this dimensions of where these holes are on the beam, but we are still missing our 18 inches. So let's actually add that in real quick. See how I, if I double check, I realized I was missing a dimension. Let's just make that right here. Wonderful. And that should be everything now. We have our height, we have our width, we have where the holes are, and we have the dimensions of the holes. Now let's take a look at this box real quick. So, so we want to edit this table right here so then we can have a title and other things down here. So let's go into sheet one, right click and edit sheet format. This entire thing will now show blue. Let us double click where it says title and we can add our title of our project. Or we can put, I'm going to just call this title orange rust and on the name drawing Number is the beam. We go up here, double click this box. Let's go into annotation, note, click here, and we can put engineering 135. Let's click out. Let's just drag this over. Whenever you see it drawn, go ahead and just put your initials and whatever today's date is. If it doesn't fit in the box, that's okay. We can always just go double click it again and 
make it a little smaller. Whoa. That was counterintuitive. There we go. Wonderful. And we have sheet one of one. So if we wanted to add another sheet, we can do so. We have here that says what the scaling of our sheet is. If you were to change the scaling of your parts, as you can see, they're not showing up right now because we are just editing the sheet format and that's okay. Um, and we have our sheet size, but this will change in retrospect if you change the scaling. Let's click accept. And now we have a sheet with everything labeled properly. Let's go ahead and save it. Main beam drawing. Wonderful. All right, in the next video, I'm going to go over weldments. Quick edit to this tutorial. I don't know if you guys noticed this or not. Hopefully you did, but I did forget a center line here on this front view of the beam so we know where those holes are placed along that front at that front face. So just go ahead and click center line and let's click both of those edges and there should be a center line that gets created to show us that these holes are aligned in the center of that face. Edges accept and save. This is why you always double check your drawings.